All right, and I think that works. I think everything's up. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a little bit weird. <clears throat> now, the lighting isn't the best. Um, however, I mean, we're, we're going to hang out, see, see all who comes in, uh, who wants to come and chat and have a good time with us. Um... A little bit about this um uh first and foremost gotta pull up the information But, uh, all right, <clears throat> let's see who, uh, who joins in. Oh my goodness. All right, I think we'll we'll go ahead and start. It's it's four o'clock on my time, so um, welcome, welcome, anyone uh here watching. We um, first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to Neverland Games over in Hagerstown, Maryland. Um, they were kind enough to give me one of these boxes that you see on screen of the Digimon card game that is going to come out at the end of the month. He actually had a pre-release that he, uh, an event pre-release that let him have a few, and he w uh, asked if I could actually get one. Um, that being said, he's actually going to have a release party that he's welcoming anyone to come to. It's going to be a four-round event on January 30th from 2 to 6. You pay $25 to come in. Um, uh, 16 players max, obviously with COVID, we can't necessarily all meet and go essentially ham on it, but, uh, players will get two packs just for entering. So $25, you'll get two packs and then you get two packs every round that you play in those four rounds. Um, he's got different drinks and snacks provided. So, you know, sodas, uh, crackers, that kind of stuff. Um, he will have it on his Facebook page, which is Neverland Games at Hagerstown. So, with that, though, um, also as well, he'll have, um, the starter decks available for purchase for any new players. And you're actually allowed to come in anywhere between 11 to 2, grab yourself a deck if you want to pay for it, and learn how to play the game before the actual four-round event starts at, um at two so you can make a whole day out of it 11 to 6 honestly myself i plan to be there a hundred percent i'm gonna get the starter decks i'm gonna be playing like crazy i just i love i want to dig into this because um as much as i love pokemon i've loved digimon i both grew up i grew up with both of them side by side with me so i can't i can't i can't not be excited for this but um like I said, though, uh, we got the information out. Um, definitely give him a follow, like I said, on Facebook. He has a um, a site on, or he has a channel on tcgplayer.com where he sells singles of different kind of cards, you know. I do believe Final Fantasy, Pokemon, did uh, probably Digimon in the future. He doesn't have any up yet. 
um, Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, Dragon Ball Super. Really, I mean, <clears throat> overall though, I I wouldn't even I would a hundred percent just go check him out on TCG Player. He he's a really fair guy, and he goes above and beyond for anyone who buys from him. So, but that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get this bad boy opened here. Um, so I did a little bit of research with it. This deck is um obviously on here. It's got a uh, twelve cards per pack, and you get twenty four. Um. So it's not anywhere as big as the um, uh, the the, the uh, Pokemon, but it's still fairly decent. It's not anything crazy. I think most um, I think Vanguard and Yu Gi Oh run on twenty four packs per booster box, but um, obviously you can see on there some of my favorite Digimon are actually here. These three front ones I love, uh, um, Shining Greymon. Omnimon, Gallatmon, you got Devimon, Machindramon, Inframon, and Piedmon. Like, this is just, this looks nice, so. But that being said, we're gonna dig right into it. Um, uh, can we just, yep. Yeah. Gonna make a little indent in there. We're just gonna start peeling it all back. 100%, this is a sealed product, too, so as you can obviously see. Um,. I've been told a little bit about the game, and I've kind of played a few of the rounds. Oh, look at that. Okay. So not only, it looks like you also get a promo card. So we do get an Izzy. Um, ooh, I didn't even realize. It's got a little bit of sheen there. That's that's really neat, actually. I dig that. So we'll go ahead and set that aside, though. Um, so Dragon Ball, I know, does this kind of thing, too. It's um, They're kind of like dash packs. As you can see, I think you can get a chance for any of these six. Um, personally, I want the Gururumons. I love Gururumon. It, it, as much as people love um, Greymon, I love Gururumon. We'll go ahead and lay that right there. We're going to we're gonna get this box displayed all nice and neat. Um, for anyone kind of a... Kind of a... Uh, has any questions about it, um, I do over here. I have a whole bunch of card sleeves in case we pull something you know super amazing cool obviously like Omnimon or um I do believe this set comes with a uh, Metal Gururumon so I can't say I'm gonna do any sort of a card trick either but because obviously I don't know oh the dash pack comes with two cards all right let's see we got Gururumon and we Gururumon all right there we go we're already starting out really great I think we'll go ahead and uh, put them side by side here. Kind of make it a little bit more neat there. Um, but yeah, we're just going to jump right into this. Um, uh, yeah, I think a little bit more about the game. Um, it's a really cool system of running um, a memory. It's not necessarily any kind of mana. Actually, here's a good example. Each one comes with this little kind of... Um, memory counter. So the game starts out at zero, and each mip card, like that room on there, you can digivolve it onto a, from a champion for three, or you can play it for seven. Um, it's, it's definitely a tut, or it's definitely a back and forth. Um, if you make a big play, like playing that groom on seven, you give seven memory to your opponent, and you end immediately end your turn. So overall, though, it's, I, I, I very much enjoy it. Um, let's see. Alright, so we got, a uh, Frigimon. Repamon. Oh, yeah, the colors. Um, as far as the colors go, we've got red, blue, um, yellow, black, purple, and green. So, six colors. Um, a little bit more than normal, but overall, I think it's a, it's a really solid number. We got a Lekmon. Alright. Chumon. Numamon. Gatsumon. I actually have a friend who's been wondering about that. That Gatsumon's probably going to be probably going to be a deck made for him. Thinkermon. Okay, cool, cool. Darkness Claw. Okay. Ooh, look at that. I like the um, the sheen on I don't know if the camera can properly catch that uh, 
Yeah, right there on the security effect and on the uh, edges of the card art, you definitely, it, the rare cards are that. Um, you have the rarity scale there at the bottom, but, oh, wow, okay, cool. We get, um, it looks like two rares per pack. Um, I honestly, I've, um, I don't know too much about the packs myself. Like, I, 100%, I've, um, I, I don't, I have, I've never opened these packs. This is all a new, uh, new set just as much as it is for me, for you guys. These things are really, really kind of tough to open, I'll be honest. Um, this one is, I don't know what's going on with this. It doesn't seem to want to open. Could it have something good? I've heard uh, Ma Omnimon is in this set. Um, oh yeah, he's actually right there too. Um, so we got the scale, 187 cards, 59 commons, three secret rares, 20 super rares, 45 rares. I mean, very, very respectful. I think from what people had told me, this, the entirety of this, um, uh, the set is based off of a um the first two sets i think or the set first set and a half of the japanese version of the game but and we're just for us as uh the americans and the globally i think is going to get caught up they are meshing the first part and then there's going to be a special booster version 1.5 and that's going to be half of set two and all of set three so that will be almost on even terms with the Japanese game. All right, so we got Kudamon though, Vegemon, Great Tornado. Okay, I gotta admit though, these this this card art for all of them, like it's it's all super good. Like they're just the small little things, like going out of your way to um, to show like the bone on Metal Guru or not Metal Gurumon, just Gurumon. Um, Metal Greymon, like, such dynamic poses, if you ask me. Back for Revenge. Upamon, okay, okay. Metal Tyranomon, okay. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I think, there we go. We can catch a little bit of that sheen there on the edge of the cards. Um, I definitely dig the idea of them having the... A simpler, um, rarity system. It's not anything crazy like, say, Yu-Gi-Oh! or Magic. Or even for that instance, too, like Pokemon. Um, actually, do I have a pair of scissors here? I think we're gonna... I'm just gonna take some scissors and cut them out that way. This is actually a little bit hard. Um, I'd say that's the only thing I'd say I would rather change with this set is the card packs be a little bit easier to open. There we go. I suppose it's going to take a little bit of getting used to. Um, okay, so, yeah, uh, right here. So we've got a kind of a one-player, two-player thing. Whenever you're setting up the game, it's supposed to look something like that. So the second player side is this, and this is your side. And that way you can denote what the memory is at and change it around as needed. All right, so Hornbuster, Sukaimon, Pagumon. All right, a lot of I'm not seeing a lot of Megas here. Um, I mean we definitely have the card art for Megas because I think uh, one of the Megas for uh, War Greymon was actually a option card in this set. Um, Tyranomon, Mosimon. Ooh, hoo -hoo, wow. I actually did not know Growlmon was in this set, so that's really cool. I dig that artwork. Um, I'd say out of like all the main Tamers Digimons, I dig Growlmon the most. I like the Geomon line. Ooh, look at that. The Venom Myotismon is a rare. Okay. Yo! Whoa! That's kind of crazy looking. Let's go! Wow, Kentarusmon. Ah, oh, wow. Yeah, we're 
we're gonna get definitely get a sleeve for this. Um, all right, there we go. See, perfect. Uh, let's see. When did you evolving up to five? Your opponent's Digimon gain uh, security attack minus two. Wow, that could uh, that could be a um, a really really game changing card. Really glad we got that. All right. I don't know if that's a what was that though? Secret rare. Um. All right. So it looks like every every uh every um pack is guaranteed one of those counters. So I'd say if you buy six packs, you'll probably get both sides. But um, Tyrannomon, um, Gravity Crush, that's really cool. Um, Toy Agumon, all right, all right. Mosemon, Gold Ripper, okay. Humpkinmon. Um, so let's see, wow. Yeah, no, I, I think this is, um, whenever they were, I, I'd like to believe that this artwork is from whenever they were in the, um, in the human world back in the adventure days. It was a bit of a simpler time, I suppose. Jinririmon. Loader Leomon. Ooh, look at that mat. All right. And Beelzemon. Wow. That's cool looking. Look at that guy. All right, let's go. So we got the gold. I'm assuming that gold rare, actually. Let's, uh... So... This was actually only a um, an SR, so... Super rare, secret rare. This right here is the secret. S-E-C, right there at the bottom of it. Denotes the rarity. Um... That's a really cool pull. That's that's a nice looking card. Wonderful, wonderful artwork. All right, let's uh. I mean, again, uh, unfortunately, it's no Omnimon, it's no Metal Garurumon like I'm hoping. But overall, though, I'm still really happy with these cards. Um. Like I said, the artwork on them is gorgeous. It's never. Oh, wow. Like, it's just kind of hard to explain, I'll be honest. Um, like, just the small odds and ends there on a spiral sword. I mean... <clears throat> so we got Sukaimon, Oblivion Bird. Wow, that's a blocker deleter. I might actually run that if I play a red deck. <laughs> Another Pumpkinmon. All right. Repamon. Kapurimon, okay. Jagamon, Wynamon, Wyna, uh, Woodmon, really good blocker, solid. Mad Dog Fire, okay. Oh, wow, all right, whoa. So we're just, all right, we're getting right into it. We're getting, what was that, three good pulls back to back to back? I mean, Piedmon, the... I think Piedmon and uh, Beelzemon are both uh, purple, so they go great hand-in-hand -hand when it comes to uh, a uh, purple deck. Um, we also got that Matt card, which was a rare. I heard that's a really good Tamer card for it. Actually, we'll put you over here. And actually, we'll go ahead and just we'll claw these bad boys out. Make a little bit of extra room there. We'll just... We'll We'll get we'll, we'll move the box for now. Um, so that being said, I'm gonna jump right into the next one. Um, I can't say how many in a booster pack that you'll get of uh, different cards. Um, as in like how many of a booster pack comes with a like secrets or. Super rare, or, um, not secret rares, um, super rares, uh, what were they again? Um, actually, we could just pull it up here. So, I don't know how many super rares or, like, secret rares come in a booster box, but definitely seems like we've pulled a fair bit already, so 
I imagine we're about to get we're about to wind down a little bit. Um, Electmon, all right, solid. Heat Viper, ooh, I like that. Like Chimeramon was such a deadly looking Digimon whenever um, uh, the second series came in. Uh, Flarer Izamon. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Garurumon, definitely really cool. I always love getting Garurumon. Saber Leomon, huh? Okay. I would have I would have expected a Saber Leomon to maybe be like a rare, but no, it's a, it's a uncommon. All right. Um, River to Power, Mistymon. Okay, okay. And then Tyranomon. All right. So yeah, it definitely looks like at least every single pack it comes with um two rares, and a chance for like the secret or super rare yeah so uh as far as secret rares go i do believe our secret rare and i i would imagine the secret rare is only going to be one per box so secret rare is going to be the bielgemon so i think that's it that that's our secret rare i highly doubt we'll get a second um but i think we definitely have a whole lot more uh super rares coming down the line here i can imagine maybe five six um, let's see, Boring Storm, okay, Chumon, um, I think this one actually turns into poop, <laughs> uh, I think the champion is, isn't it? Correct me if I'm wrong in chat, but, uh, Goblimon, I know a friend who's gonna love having Goblimon, he's, he's just big into goblins, um, Caesarmon, uh, Agumon, really cool looking, you know, floral, floral pattern on it. Uh, Impmon, uh, definitely really good. I heard the Impmon is going to be crucial if you want to bring out, like, the Elzamons. Myotismon, really cool. Uh, Ky Kyoromon, I don't think I've ever seen this Digimon. Um, definitely it's, a, it's an in-training Digimon, so. Uh, Cherrymon, okay. Ooh, we pulled uh, another Izzy. All right, all right. And then Togemon, look at that. I can't get past this sheen on them. Like, the rares are all just so good. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna just jump in and uh, look at another look at another pack. Um, overall, though, I'm super happy. Even if we were to get no other secret rares or super rares or anything like that, I, I'm fairly happy. Um, Beelzemon is probably one of my favorites. Um, when it comes to the Tamer series. Uh, aside from Geomon, of course. So, Numamon. Alright. So, I think the Chumon digivolves into Numamon. I think. I could be dating myself. Hornbuster. Um, Tsukaimon. Pogumon. Munchomon. Atomic Ray. With the, uh, I think it's a High Andromon. Uh, should be the Mega Evolution. I'm not even going to pronounce him. Uh, <laughs> Groundramon. Wow, that's that looks pretty dope. Uh, Devadramon. Okay, okay. Yo, we got another Wergururumon. Ikakumon. All right, cool, cool. And then Kyrie. Okay, so seems like all the different Tamers are going to be uh, rare. Um, yeah, I mean, overall, though, like, they, they, it's a really good job. Like, I really enjoy that gold rare sheen. I know the video, oh, okay, all right. Uh-oh, let me go ahead and stick him a little bit further back. He's going to be in the darkness. Because he's that dark, brooding, edgy Pope Digimon. He's got guns, yo. Even more, even bigger guns than, uh, uh, Puppetmon. <laughs> I was actually talking to a friend the other day about that, um, um, a lot of viewers who watch Digimon in English probably won't know, but Puppetmon, back in the day, he had a revolver, and he just shot two Digimon down in, like, cold blood. It was kind of brutal, even for the Japanese standard, but... So, uh, Hearts Attack, I, I actually was looking forward to get one of these cards, um, 
Leolo, Leolmon, Gorillamon. Okay. Uh, ooh, wow. Look at that. Like the moonlight and everything else. Such a cool looking Gururumon. Dimension Scizor. Okay. Papermon. Devimon. All right, so we got a box art there. I suppose we already had the box art when it came to Paimon. Chirinmon. Terror's, Terror's Cluster. Yo, look at that. All right. So we got War Growlmon. So we got the ultimate. So maybe they'll have Gallimon in this set. Um, in Geomon. Uh, obviously, we haven't pulled the Geomon. I would imagine it's not going to be a rare. But... Um, so, I'd like to know, though, for the people, uh, watching in, though, um, what's your favorite Digimon? Or did you come here for the, uh, the fun for the Pokemon? Um, yeah, definitely it looks like each booster pack is gonna have those memory counters. So, I am in no longer a short supply of dig uh, memory counters. Um... Gudamon, okay, cool, cool. Kokatorimon. Kokatori? Kokatori, maybe. Ooh, look at that. That Andromon looks nice. I don't know what's about that. I just, I, I dig that artwork. Wow. Even for a common card. All right, so we got Boring Storm. Toy Agumon. All right, all right. There it is. All right, cool. So we got the Geomon, we got Growlmon, and we got, um... War Groundmon, or Metal Groundmon. I think it was War Groundmon, wasn't it? Um, I mean, I'm happy with that. I think, I think we're gonna, we're gonna shoot for Gallopmon, or our, uh, our main boy, Metal Garurumon. Another Hearts Attack. It's always good to have a playset. Um, with this game, the playset's gonna be four. So, alright. Yokomon, alright, alright. Flower cannon. All right, so we're definitely we're definitely calming down a little bit. Um. Uh. Yeah, like uh. I know I know a few of the megas in this set. Like um, I think there's a Hercules Kabuterimon. Um, there's Scalitmon. I would imagine. It looks like we we got a. Um, yeah, this is actually a little denotion. So the white cards are going to be baby Digimon, for sure. The blue ones can be any sort of, you know, mega, ultimate, champion, anything like that, really. Andromon, alright. Dark Tyranomon. Night Raid. I've, I've, in the few games I've played, Night Raid is such a cool card. Got another Geomon, alright. We might be able to make ourselves a playset of this, um... Uh, like I was saying, though, in this game, it's it's a playset of four. So you can have four copies of a card. Um, think, like, Magic the Gathering, obviously. Um, or uh, Pokemon. Uh, I think Yu-Gi-Oh! only runs on... Wow, look at that. Praetramon. Hey, we got the Blue Mad. All right. So we got some Tamers going for this. And then Cupidmon. All right, yeah, see? So guaranteed it's gonna, it's gonna be a, um, a baby. Um, but I think, uh, we've got, yeah, there's a play set of four, and as far as the colors go, I think I'm going to be mainly a blue player. I'm not going to be opposed to playing any of the other colors, but I, I definitely want blue. Because it seems as though the big, big name, um... Metal uh, Guru Mons are going to be blue. So Gomamon, all right, cool. Some definitely, definitely some good blue support. Um, a lot of green, actually, I've been seeing. Um, Forbidden Temptation, Liamon, Vilemon, okay. Algamon, another green. Uh, Kapurimon, another Gatsumon, all right, cool. Uh, Biomon, Baby Dromon. Oh, oh man, alright, we, 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 we clipped it, uh, we got the Tainum on, but look at that, wow, so another, um, 
Another super rare. Um, Zudamon this time, though. Blue, I'm not going to be mad over that. I, I need all the blue support I can get if I'm going to make this good blue deck. Put him back there next to the Piedmon. Um, yeah, I think I've started to get an knack for opening these up uh, comparatively. I don't think the scissors would have been a good idea, I'll be honest. Go ahead and set that aside. I feel like those are kind of the energy cards of um, Digimon. Like, we're going to get them in every single pack, and we're just not going to need them after the first, what, four packs, give or take. Nuclear laser. Wow. Wow. Look at the, look at the nice uh, fireball effect on the Greymon. That's all of it. They are not skimping when it comes to the artworks on this. And mind you, this is only a common card. Agumon, okay. Smashed Potatoes. Agumon Expert. Okay. That's pretty cool. So there's multiple different versions of the Agumons and probably Gabumons and Greymons and all that. So definitely expect to see that. Monmon. <laughs> uh, Back for Revenge. Hi, Andromon. So yeah, this is the Mega. Um... Unfortunately, I, we never did get to see this Mega Evolution out of the Andromon in the series, but I used to play a lot of games, and High Andromon was always a cool card. Giga Blaster, whoa. And then Karamon. Um, I do believe that's the Digimon. That's the virus from uh, the, first, the first movie, right? Correct me if I'm wrong in the chat, but... Um, as far as all the deck types go, I think blue is kind of the controlly, um, uh, controlling the field kind of deck. Um, red is definitely just buffing your team up, your Digimon up, and going in for big swings. Green seems to be a lot of small cards that are just easy to bring now for low cost. Oh, wow, look at that purple Gabumon. Purple, though. Purple is going to be playing stuff into the graveyard and then getting it back out, so. Uh, Lyomon, I think the yellow is going to be all debuffers, so if your Digimon goes down to that uh, zero combat power, like this Digitama, if it was to go down to zero, apparently would uh, just uh, automatically get deleted, which I think is a cool function. I think that's fair. <clears throat> um... Uh, the black cards, I think, actually go... There are a lot of blockers and jamming, which is different security... Or different effects for your Digimon. Metal Tyranomon. All right, cool. Debbie Dramon. Mega Kabuterimon. I can't say we've actually... I don't think we've actually pulled a Mega Kabuterimon. Myotismon. Okay. Taiga. Can't say I actually know this tamer. Um, might have been past my time. And then Inframon. I know Inframon. That is the that is the ultimate version for the um, the Karamon. And that was uh, that was in the first movie. So again, I think at that point it took the likes of Metal Guru or Metal Gurumon and Omnimon just to stand a chance. <clears throat> Actually, no. I um. I think they had to, yeah, they had to digivolve into the Megas, and then the Karamon, or the Inframon, I should say, evolved into the um, the final evolution. <clears throat> Metal Greymon, okay, okay. Goblimon, Blastfire, wow, yeah, I, I, I really just like the fire effects to these cards. Ogremon, okay. Boring Storm, um, another good blue option card. Mega Dramon. Finally, a, a red Greymon. I know the Greymon line or the Ogumon line is primarily red. I'm surprised we haven't pulled a lot more of them. Uh, Tentamon, Angemon. Look at that, gorgeous. Ooh, wow. Lepromont. Lepro. Lepa. Leper. 
for Mon. The Mon. That's nice. Looks like this 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 has a lot of good blue cards in it. I mean, we're getting a lot of good hits there. Look at that. We got the Zuda Mon. We've got the uh, the Leper Mon. Leopard Mon. I don't know why I was trying. I I just realized it's Leopard Mon. <laughs> I don't know why that was uh, two words in my head. I'll get there eventually, I promise, chat. Um, but yeah, uh, for all the people in the chat, though, uh, I want to I wanna hear from you guys. Uh, what uh, well, have you been getting into? Um, have you done anything for New Year's? We just passed it. Uh, New Year's uh, resolutions or anything like that. Uh, feel free to chime in. Uh, Kawagamon. Tokuwaman. Tokuwaman. Gravity Crush again. So yeah, we're definitely getting a lot of cards that we're seeing before. Uh, we have, I don't think we've actually pulled Mushroom on. There's a red metal gray mon. Let's go. Okay. So, Radiation Blade. Really cool looking. Demi Devamon. Another purple map. Okay. Symphony number one. Oh, wow. That's actually a really cool card. Uh, gets minus 7,000 DP. That can knock out a fair bit of Digimon just on that effect alone. Um, I think we'll go ahead and finish up this side. And then we'll come over to this side. And then once we'll finish, we'll take a short break while I move everything over. And uh, we'll jump right into the, um, the... Oh, I shouldn't have done it that way. Um, we'll jump right into the... Uh, Pokemon playthrough. Um, as far as that goes, we just beat um, Gardenia over in uh, Eterna City. So we got two badges. Um, completely randomized, mind you. Um, we're going to get to the egg, and I don't think it's been hatched. Or I think we're going to plan to hatch the egg. We could go back and do a little bit of training and then see if we can get a fossil Pokemon, because the fossil Pokemon and the egg Digimon, or not Digimon. I'm getting my mods mixed up. Um, the fossil Pokemon and fossil... The fossil Pokemon and the fossil... Or the Pokemon egg are both going to be random. I apologize. I Wow. So, uh, Dark Mon. Okay. Loader Leomon, Lyomon, Boltmon. Look at that. Nice old 12,000 beat stick. Terror's Cluster. All right. Oh, whoa, all right, so Millennium Mon, okay. Uh, so the way this works is, um, I don't know if I can quite capture it. There we go. You can actually use uh, purple or black cards to make this Digimon, so really nice pull. I, I highly enjoy that. We'll go ahead and put him right here. Oh. Now, Beelzemon said he wants to be in front, so looks like Beelzemon is going to stay in front. Uh, but yeah, as far as this uh, this bo booster box is gone, I, 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 I really like it. Um, I think I could build myself a good deck. I think a lot of people could build a good deck. Um, just like I said, you just got to jump right into this. Volcanic Dramon. Wow! That's a common mega card. That's actually really weird to see. I mean, see if I can cap get it down there. Yeah. Yeah, let's see there. That's common for a mega Digimon. So, Digitamamon, Garumon, Purple Edition, Pixiemon. Cool. Alright. Numamon, Hornbuster, Beomon. Baby Dramon, Saber Leomon, Venom Myotis Mon, so that's two for us. Mad Dog Fire, so another two rares. I think we're calming down a little bit again. I hope we can pull ourselves a um, another super rare before the packs are over. I doubt we're going to get any secret rares. Um, I think that ship has sailed with uh, Beelzemon. Although, again, I can't be too mad over that. That's a nice-looking Beelzemon. Um, so we got five packs? Six packs, including this, so... 
Sukaimon, Pogumon, Mon uh, Muchomon, Atomic Ray, Flyamon, Volcanic Dramon. Okay, so another one of them. Gorillamon, two Growmon. Okay, cool, cool. I know, I, I can, I can dig that. Metal Greymon. All right. Lilymon, nice. And then Angemon. Two solid cards for rares. I really, I, I, I like that. Um, but yeah, like I said though, again, shout out to uh, Neverland Games. Like I said, I wouldn't have been able to even think about planning this out until the end of the month if it wasn't for him. Um, he definitely, he's a, like I said, he's a, he's a wonderful person. His crew is super uh, nice. They're super caring. Um, they try to cultivate good, healthy communities for really any of the card games. So I, I cannot, I cannot stop complimenting them. Um, Honestly, it was actually through one of their employees' recommendations that they told me about Digimon. I didn't even know anything about Digimon or if it was coming out uh, as a card game. I had, like, the old original, you know, 1990s cards, but, uh, yeah, they told me about this new one coming out in uh, 2021, and, wow, I am I am so happy I invested. Um, like I said, when that event comes up uh, at the end of the month, you should... You bet you I'm going to be there. I'm going to hang out, um, get some more cards. I'm going to probably get the starter decks. Looking back on good times. Okay. Lavramon. Okay. Ooh. Giga Blaster. Then Rust Tyranomon. All right. I imagine this is going to be our last, uh, last, uh, super rare. I'm going to go ahead and put that, uh, Put that call in now, huh? It was fun while it lasted. But I doubt we'll get... It seems like the, the dream... Wow, actually, come to think of it, I don't think we've pulled any uh, Metal Guru mods at all. Um, Metal Edamon... So each one of these um, memory things will actually have a list of the cards, too. Trying to see what all. So Vidramon is a secret rare. Metal Greymon is a secret rare, or there is a secret rare version. Um, Metal Gurumon is going to be the SR, yeah. So we had a chance for either Beelzemon, Metal Greymon, or Vidramon. No, we got the Beelzemon. I think between those three, I'm happy I got the Beelzemon. Uh, giant, great tornado. I'm sorry, not giant tornadoes, a great tornado. Um, uh, Monis Mosimon. Tyranomon, nice. Dimension Scissor. Where Gururumon. Okuomon. Impmon, okay. Petermon. Is that bad to say? Can we say that? Can we say Petermon? We're just gonna, we're not gonna keep saying it. Um, Berdramon, nice. Wow, look at the puppet mon. That's cool looking. Skull Gray mon. Ah, yeah. So we got three packs left. Um, I think this, I think this one's gonna be the, the money pack. We're gonna stick that here in the back for now. We're gonna dig into these two. I, I, I'm going to keep out hope. I 100% think that we're going to get the uh, Metal Guru Mon. We're not going to get a Secret Rare, but we are going to get another SR. I, I want to believe it. So, we got Agumon Expert, Blastfire, Kabuterimon, Wizardmon, Vegemon, Guru Mon, Golden Ripper. Palmon, okay. Kyromon. Metal Edamon, look at that. That just... Ooh, wow. Joe, okay, okay. And... Mimi, wow. I think these are the first times we pulled a Joe and Mimi in this box set. That's kind of crazy to think about. 
Especially since they're only rares. But I'm, I would imagine there's a bunch of rares that are in these packs, so... Um, I can't be too mad. Ugh. Yeah, I'd say if there's any complaint I have with this uh, series so far, it's our packs are a little bit hard to open. But overall, I think it's not a bad thing. Gorillamon, okay. Piximon. Kokuamon, okay. Spiral Sword. Greymon. Armadillamon. Yeah, well, I think, you know what? I think we'll put the, the Armadillamon over here for good luck uh, next to his Armor Digivolution. For anyone who didn't know, um, Heat Viper, Wergururumon, Magnadramon, okay, Cherrymon, Missymon, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice, we got it, boys, we got the Omnimon, all right, so that's gonna, that's the, so Omnimon was not a secret rare, actually, so yeah, it's only an SR, um, Heck yeah, look at that. Um, the cool thing about Omnimon is, oh, just like that uh, Vermilionmon, we actually had a, this is a dual color, so this can be played with red and blue. So, definitely going to be in my deck. Um, definitely, definitely. This, what a way to, I, well, I can't say to end it, but I doubt we'll get anything else here. Um... But, you know, I hope that we can get ourselves a blue mat. You know, we'll, we'll keep the standards a little bit low. Keep them a little bit, um, keep them a little bit, uh, grounded, I suppose. Um, but I think we're going to go for a blue mat, maybe a Joe. We'll get some tamer support for our blue deck. It's going to be great. So we've got Caesarmon, Dark Tyrannomon, okay. Night Raid, Dolphmon, Spiral Shooter, Sirenmon, Huagamon. Nice, well, we got a mad, all right. Yo, wow. Okay, so we got the War Greymon. Um, I don't, I'll be honest, I don't know how I feel about that. I, I honestly kind of was hoping for the uh, Metal Garurumon. But you know what? We got an Omnimon. We got we got two thirds of the combination. We got two thirds of the puzzle here. So we got the Omnimon. And we got the Metal Guru or the War Greymon. We need a War Gururumon whenever this set releases. But let's go ahead and uh, take a head count here of all that we got. So we'll go ahead and set them aside. Gururumons were a good luck charm. I was not expecting two out of those three packs to be secrets. Or, er, super rares. So we got Omnimon. Really nice looking card. Wow. Um, Wargreymon. Leopardmon. Zudomon. We got the Piedmon. Uh, Kentorosmon. I don't know why it's all yellow like that. It makes me want to believe that it's some sort of like a secret rare, but... None of the other cards are like that. Um, Rust Tyranomon, Millennium Mon, and Beelzemon. Look at him. Look at our boys. I think the big highlights are definitely these three. If I had to, if I had to say, as much as I like the Leopard Mon and the um, and the uh, Pseudo Mon, it's really cool just to get those Megas. So, but yeah, um. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's it for the opening, at least for this time around. Um, we're, de we're definitely going to be doing more openings. I, I'm addicted to this. <clears throat> I, I can't get enough of this. Um, we will probably, around the release time, unless I can get my hands on another booster box, um, I'll try to see what I can do, but... At this point, it looks in like it's looking like we're probably gonna go around the, um, the the release day, and I'll probably grab a box. We'll probably go through the decks as well, just for your guys's um, info. But yeah, overall, let's uh let's uh, go ahead and switch over gears now.
Um, we will bring this up and platinum. So at this point we have our screen here. We've got our text chat here at the top corner. Um, we, so feel free to chat, chat up with me. Um, but we've got the, or no, I'm sorry, the bottom one. No, the bottom one is the game, and the top one is going to be for your guys' chat. With uh, us doing that opening, I didn't really have the the um, resources to be able to switch over the camera, as I only have one camera, so. But overall. So, also as well, I just did the count. It looks like in those 24 packs, we've got nine different hits. So overall, I 100% think it's it's a good set. I, I cannot recommend it enough. Um, but yeah, we're just going to jump right into this. Um, <clears throat> let me get resituated. I'll put in my headphones so I can listen in with you guys. <laughs> I didn't even realize we stopped at 69. But all right, so... Can we, can we, there we go. Okay, so yeah, this was our team. Oh, it seems like my headphones aren't working this time around, so we'll skip them for now. Uh, yeah, it looks like our team mainly consisted of Snot the Snow Runt, King the, um, the Nitto King. We got Shin the Luxio. I think Bud, I think Bud was our um, starter, so really happy with that. I don't think we've had any deaths, so uh, Fairy, I think Fairy's just probably going to be a placeholder. I think we're probably going to put Fairy in the box, and we got Whisk, the Milotic. So yeah, I think we're going to go over here. We're going to put Fairy in the box. Um, do we actually... I think we might need to move some Pokemon. So box one. Yeah, so... We got three new... Or we got three different people. Waiting in the wakes, so Weasel, Fairy, and Berg. But I think we're going to go talk to Cynthia, which is, I think, down here. Did we, did we already get the egg? Maybe we did. Um, hmm. Well, I was not prepared for that. I'll be honest. Uh, we already got our encounter here on 211. That much I remember. Uh, yeah, I think we just go down and we go dig. We're going to do some digging. Hey, guy. Yeah, give me that explorer's kit. We're going to... Oh. I forgot about this. We got to go up and down on the... Oh, hey! Yeah, I forgot about that. We got the experience share. So, we'll give the experience share to... With... Oh, wow. I don't think we really have an option when it comes to fighting types. Hmm. I mean, I think Bud. I think Bud's just going to be a safe bet. Explorer's kit. We go down. We go below.
Hey, it's that guy. Uh, Rourke. I think it's Rourke. Well, that was rude. Now we just play the lottery when it comes to this stuff. Oh. Hey, I guess we won the lottery, guys. Whoa, okay. So the main reason we're definitely down here is we're here to find us a fossil. So we can dig up a new Pokemon for us. How? How is there a random trap that was placed whenever I was just around? Yeah, I didn't think we were going to find anything there. Ding. Not glamorous work by any means. But all we need and all we can get right now is just one fossil. That's all we need. A lot of clicking, a lot of uh, tediousness. Uh, yeah, I gotta say this is mildly annoying because it's like we are trying our best and we cannot find any sort of so this one, yeah. <clears throat>
Four things confirmed. Okay. And, uh, ah, same spot. Okay. That means it saves us heartache. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I have no idea what the the ratio for this is when it comes to the fossils. The ratio is frustrating is what it is. <clears throat> oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, cool, cool. We go up. So we got the skull fossil. All right. We have cut? No, we need to teach cut. That's something I forgot to do. And yeah, we'll give we'll give uh, Ivysaur cut. Definitely saves him from us having to do takedowns. Ooh, can't go wrong with some extra berries. Um, but yeah, we just have to jump down and go talk to uh, Rourke. Or not Rourke. We have to go to a scientist, I think, in, a, in the museum in Orberg City. Did I slather honey in Floraroma Town? I mean, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> we get a quick encounter here while while we're here. <clears throat> uh, I guess we didn't. Oh, wow, I didn't realize Bud had two different. I didn't realize Bud had two different HMs or else I might not have actually given him cut. Did we miss something? How did I really just get lost? Okay, no, so we have to go to Orberg and we can go up to Eterna. Okay, so... Spin him off, good XP. We won't pass that up because we need to get Bud up, or we need to get Snot up to... Um, 40, I think, to evolve into Gallade. 
not Galay, uh, um, Gailey, Galay. All right, so then we just come in here. <laughs> what? Hey guys, we just. <laughs> hey, we uh, we we got ourselves a hoo. All right, I think, I think, I think this, this, this is the play. Oh no, not ho, oh, oh. Uh, oh. Oh ho. Oh ho. I think that's the name. But hey, look at that. We, we got a flyer, baby. Let's go. Uh, what level is he? Oh, wow, level 20? He's... This thing's a powerhouse, okay. Whirlwind, Skate, Safeguard, and Gust. Eh, those moves leave a lot to, to be desired, though. Yeah, so we got a fire Pokemon, though. Yeah, fire flying, we got a water, we got electric, grass, poison, ground, and ice. I think we've got a really good team. Powder snow. Get out of here, my guy. Oh, that's <laughs> that's actually something that could kill snot. Water pulse. Get out of here. Can we run? Yeah, we're just gonna run. And we literally just got uh, ambushed again. Okay. I see how it is, game. 26. Nice. Um. Yeah, I think we'll just bring in Whisk for the time being. We need to get her leveled up because I think. I think. Um. Let's see. What was it? I think think the third gym is going to be Fantina. So ghost Pokemon. Really? Really? I just, you know, just get out of here. Yeah, kind of sad that we missed out on the Deoxys. Whoops. It's good XP, though, because I think we got the Clefairy out this route. I think we got Fairy. Oh, wow, Venusaur. Yeah, I remember that too. We were talking uh, in our last uh, session. Our Ivysaur went against the Venusaur and we won. That just goes to show what good training will do. So we gotta go through. Did we really miss this? Huh. It's unlike me to miss out on... Um... Free, free XP. Look at that poison point. Look at my boy King.
can't believe we went all the way back to Orberg for this. Actually, I can believe it. I don't think this Pachirisu has. Alright, so we'll go ahead and train a little bit here. I think I want to get everyone to 20. it'll be faster if we take this yeah because we don't have to do too much we need to get whisk up that's about it actually we could go against the grunts in here and probably just annihilate them you think we're gonna pass the trainer no way, man. All right, simple enough. Oh yeah, we're gonna level up way faster this way.
Whoa. Okay, maybe it's not. Oh, wow, that was... So hypnosis seems to be the biggest thing that uh, can hinder us. Yeah, I think we go Shin. Spark. Wow, that did not do a lot. Yikes. Okay. Can it kill it? Can we kill it? No, we lost it. Uh, that's such a bummer. Well, there goes our only fire type. That's a bit of a bummer. Oh, 
hey, do we get the egg? Okay, cool. So we got the egg. I mean, maybe we get something good out of it. I want, oh, I think we need to level up a little bit. What a jerk. Well, I cannot believe that. That was rude of them. I don't know why I'm clicking all of a sudden. Okay, just give me a whole bunch of starlies then. That's fine by me. Um, <laughs> go with Shin again. Can we get the level up? Nope. Ooh. Ooh, actually. <laughs> That one kind of hurt. That was actually kind of rude. We're going to go get healed. Oh, nope. I don't know why we wanted to go down here. All right, so No, I don't want to. Why did you give me a flag? All right, Route 206, so do we have Pokeballs? We have 61, I think we can catch something. Hopefully a fire type. Or Spinda. Nope, 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 no, we're killing it. I don't wanna deal with it. I would rather it not be on my team, in my box. See, why can't we get the Houndor? That would have been cool. <laughs> Leave me alone, you little jerk.
So I think we're going to go into just the two hour mark. I know it's going to be a bit of a shorter stream, but... Why does everyone have to have like a freaking chimchar or ponytail? Oh, the first seeker could actually be good. We can get training. Wait. Mount Cornet. New encounter. Let's go. Ooh, Swadloo. Okay. Cut. Cut. Pokeball. Luke. I hate this cave already. Like, seriously, why would mm, I hate chat odds? Whatever. Oof, 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 oof. Can can we uh can we leave? I don't like that. This cave kinda is doo doo. All right, new route, new route, new Pokemon. Uh. 
<clears throat> so we can we can have a magic harp on the back burner in case we lose my other tick. I don't even get access. Hmm. Okay, so I think we will go ahead and just stop it. I don't want to join the contest though. So if the antenna's around, I think we'll just... Guess we have to go back to the other route and train there. Okay, that was weird. That was a weird set of circumstances.
go down. <laughs> Jeez. Come on, come on, come on. All right, now we go heal. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I don't... This team is not equipped to deal with uh, Fantina's team, unfortunately. Where are we at with the pokey egg? We're just gonna hatch this egg. We need something. Hopefully a a rainer for this gym. We've got pretty much everything else covered. Up until that point. It's not a, it's not glamorous work, but it's honest work. Alright, so we got the next step. Actually, I think uh, I, I'm honestly, I'm, I'm getting a little bit hungry. I think um, 
after we hatch this Pokemon, we will, uh, we'll probably end it for the night. I might do some training off screen just to save us the time on the stream itself to, so we don't have to be bored with this tediousness. Nah, you know what, we'll go, we'll just go to two. Two hours. We'll call the stream at two hours. All right, what do we got? Okay. So we've got a grotto. Um. Oh wow, yeah, that does way more. Uh oh. 
about that almost killed Shen. Jeez, Shin is such a class cannon. That's not as exciting. <laughs> um, man, that, that magic harp is not worth a lot of XP. This crocodile should be though. Yeah, okay. If we can find more crocodiles, that would be nice. I can handle Baneri. And Shin just cannot take a hit. And what level is Grottle?
Jeez. <clears throat> I mean, there's some decent Pokemon like the Ariadoses, Magmars, the Kangaskins. This can definitely be a good place for some really good XP. I want to get down below once uh, we beat Fantina. We're not going to be able to do that today, but... Um... Oh my goodness. Yeah, they. I think we're a little bit underleveled because I think Fantina is also going to be like level 27, which is kind of insane for her, for a third gem. Correct me if I'm wrong in the chat, but... Okay, okay, so I'm level 19. All right, I think we're going to call it after this match. I feel like that's a good place to stop. Um... Yeah, it was a little bit of a shorter session session today. Hey there. Um, <laughs> sorry you're catching me at the end of this, but I was actually about to to hop off. Um, that being said, uh, this is gonna be saved onto my Twitch. Um, if you're wanting to watch all these different parts, they'll be over on my YouTube. Um, same name, Ultra Ball Gamer. Uh, definitely follow me on Twitch for the viewers watching. Uh, I've been trying to start posts on there more often whenever I'm going to be streaming. I plan to stream another time today, or not today, this week. <laughs> I refuse. Fair. That's fair. Um, but either way, that's up to you. That being said, I should be streaming sometime this week. I'm thinking Tuesday or Wednesday. It definitely depends. Um... For the people who just, like I said, the people drift up, um, feel free if you want. At the beginning of this video, this was actually a half and half video. For an hour, we actually did an unboxing of the new Digimon card game that just came out. But otherwise, the other half would be us uh, doing a little bit of grinding here on Pokemon. Um, off screen, I'm going to do a little bit of grinding because we're just super, super low level for the next gym. And I, I don't want to bore you guys with just tedious grinds. I'd rather get us into story mission or story elements or gems or anything like that. So, but how is the quality of the cards? Um, pretty good. I mean, as a fan of Garurumon from the old series, we didn't get a Garurumon. However, we got um in this list is a War Greymon, an Omnimon, a Bielzmon, Millenniummon, Rust Tyranomon, Kentorosmon, Piedmon, Zudomon. And Leopardmon. So I'm really happy with that haul. I was hoping we could pull like the nice, cool, shiny Metal Garurumon card, but it wasn't in the cards in this box set. However, if you guys want to see it more, I'll definitely be getting more box sets whenever. Um... Got a couple of good ones right there. I mean, I'll be honest, I'm really hyped over the Omnimon. Aside from Metal Garurumon, Omniwan was my favorite Digimon from the first series, so. But, yeah, we're definitely going to be jumping back in and probably doing another stream of that. Maybe some streaming of uh, unboxing Pokemon cards. Um, but, yeah, like I said, definitely feel free to um, 
watch the beginning of this stream because it was all in one stream and tell me what you think if you want to see more by all means let me know on twitter facebook youtube any of that but like i said at this point i'm going to be hopping off here and i wish you all a very happy um new year's and i will talk to y'all later bye